Hello guys, it's Grimdutch here with another video and today we have 25 hearts and 25 elite cruise scrolls and uh, yeah we are going to get at least 50 master cruise scrolls in total because I only need 4 of them and we can do that in this episode I'm sure of that but uh, let's see what's in those casket next to the master clues and uh, after I'm done opening those 25 elites and 25 hearts I'm going to grind out those master clues and well maybe there's something in there then because then I'm over 500 master cruise scrolls done so uh, let's see if we can get something in the hard cruise scroll caskets and we start off with 1 million with two fortunate components the luck of the dwarves is rising again in price really don't know how that works but it's around uh, 31 uh, 32 million right now the prices are risen slightly the fortunate components are back up to like i think uh, 450k each so if you are lucky and you wait uh, quite a while for it to sell but i do think the the prices are around 400k each so not bad 147k in that one 186k in that one well at least the hard cruise schools haven't got me anything this year so far i think uh, maybe got yeah I, I did get a barrels die from a hard cruise school this year but other than that i got absolutely nothing uh, from the elite cruise schools i got a i think a shadow die that was also this year and that's about it for this year two dies a shadow and a barrow so uh, let's see what's in those uh, caskets don't really know we aren't getting any master cruise skulls in those hard cruise skulls which is when you say it you get one but two strikes me as odd if you do like eight or nine hard cruise skulls then you usually get like three or four uh, master clues and you do a big opening and you get absolutely nothing most of the time it works like that with me but i don't know about you guys if that's any different uh, one million in that one two fortunate components only 10 more caskets to go for puzzle skipping tickets which are still high in value i don't really get that because well there is alt one and you could do puzzles like in 20 seconds or so if you were really fast two fortunate components both of them h4 it would be nice to get a lot more of those but two fortunate components is nice and this is a unique item for the hard cruise skills of course the amulet of glory t4 uh, unfortunately it is a fortunate component so only 551k and nothing much 586k in that one with a magic combo another fortunate 145k let's reel that into 119k into 273k well Oh. Not what we are looking for, but I'll take the fortunate components. They are really consistent for that. And the money is quite good as well. The second Master Cruise Call right there. Yeah, we already made over 10 million from those 20 caskets. And we got a third age item, guys. The first third age item ever. It's only 28 mil, but it's my first third age item. This is what I wanted from Hard Cruise Calls. We did get it finally. A third age range leg. It's also a nice third age item as well. Well, third age range legs, 28 million. That's staying in the tab, guys. Oh, do we got a third age item? I'm really happy with that. Even more than getting a die or a barrow or a shadow. Third age is well we did get that and also a new item for the lork so that's absolutely amazing oh well, i've reacted to some of you guys who are pming me right then but uh, yeah we did get a third age have to take a breath for a little while then because that's really exciting i haven't been that excited in cruise scroll uh, rewards for quite a while uh, i think not after my first or second die or anything like that but yeah third age that's really a dream come true i mean kind of giving up hope in some episodes when i thought well maybe i'm not going to get anything but well we did and we made 28 million but the cash is really irrelevant in this one uh, let's continue the opening because we have back to back would be amazing but we are not going to get that of course a lot of rewards in this one let's reel that into 600k we have two more hard coup skulls to go and we get a reroll token which we will use for the next episode and we did get 117k and in the reroll we did get 119k with absolutely perfect pathetic rewards two rewards in that one uh, but we have also 25 elite cruise schools uh, we already made 40 million gp so that's nice so now we are going to open the 25 elite cruise schools uh, let's see what's in those uh, we start off with 219k uh, we did get two masters already but uh, we, st we still need a couple more master cruise schools to complete the 50 58k elite cruise school that's absolutely pathetic let's reel that into 
199k, a little bit better than what we did get previously. 58k is just a pathetic reward to be honest, but 211k in that one. No master clue in that one as well. Uh, yeah, we are going to reel that of course into another shit reward around 200k. Uh, this time a little bit better, 315k with some Onyx Bolt tips, but still we are going to get around the 200k mark with no master clue scrolls, which is not what we want. We want the master clue scrolls right there. We did get a couple of them in the hearts, but not enough, but we got the turn date so this episode can't get any better than the two dates actually so we are not going to hope for anything else this is an episode that is really unique never got a two days item in those uh, what is it now 7500 cruise schools something like that i got one item 28 mil is a really nice price i'm not going to sell it though that's going to stay in my tab because well 28 million is not really a lot i like it to stay in my tab another master cruise school right there Actually, is it the first one? No, I think it's the second one from the Elite Goose Girls and a Fury Ornament Kit, which is, uh, well, it's a fortunate component. And we got another one and another Master Goose Girl, which is a nice reward, 268k. It's a little bit less than that, but we are going to reel that into 255k into 186 in the next one. Let's reel that again into a master. That's nice. We did get over 50 in my bank right now. So I'm going to do some masters after this. And we got another one right there. 91k. 1.2 million with actually two fortunates. Because that uh, Fury Ornament Kit is one as well. I don't really know how many of those I have in my bank right now. I have to check after this episode. I think I have quite a few. Which I can turn into uh, fortunate components. 197k in that one. We got seven more to go. 1 million with two fortunates and a master that's kind of the elite you want to get all the time because it's good for gp and you get master crew skills so that's what you're looking for and we did get a gold bow again which is uh, a standard in my episode well it was standard uh, we did get um, no gold bows in the past two episodes i think so uh, yeah, we did get her dry on the gold bows, but we are back again with a Zemurek bow. It was a little bit too good to be true to get a die and turret age in one episode. Uh, actually, I haven't seen it in... Uh, yeah, of course, we got a Dragon Mask as well, which is also in the uh, Mega Rare drop table. Of course, it's not that rare. I think it's one in 200 or something like that. So not that rare. Two Fortunate components as well. We had three more caskets to go and we are going to reel this one into 186k, which is kind of the same reward, but we already made 50 mil, so I'm not really sweating that. 182k in that one. And the final of the Elite Clue Score stack is going to be 258k. No luck on the Elite Clue Scrolls, which isn't bad at all. I'm really at peace with that, but we did get a third age range legs in those hard Clue Scrolls, so that's absolutely amazing. Uh, let's check how much we made and how many Master Crucials we did get. So in total, we made 51 million GP from this episode. An absolutely legendary episode for me at least. Because we got this one, the third age range legs, which is absolutely a dream come true that I got finally a third age item. I've been waiting on it for three years and finally happened. So I'm really happy about that. You can all understand, I think. Because it's almost the same feeling as you get when you get your first die, if you ever uh, notice that. But it's almost the same feeling if you did get uh, your first die and you remember that feeling. It's kind of like that feeling. I think the feeling of getting a blood or turn 8 die would be even better. But this one is absolutely amazing as well. So we got the turn 8 item and we got some fortunate components adding up to 35 million. And uh, 15 million is coming from skipping tickets and all rune items, which is already in my tab. So, so that's not right here. But 35 million, we got nine master cruise skills, which is we only did 50 caskets. So nine isn't a bad score. So I have 55 master cruise skills now, so I can make the episode of 50 uh, master cruise skills. I'm planning on making 50 masters. Maybe I'm throwing in leads and hearts as well. I have to think about that if I have the time to do that. But you will see that. So let's check the collection log and. For the hard cruise skulls, we have 103 out of 118. Of course, we did get one new item, the third age range legs. Absolutely amazing. We still need some of the other third age items, actually. Every third age item except from the range legs. And we still need two gilded pieces. We did 
did get a kind of uh, unlucky with the gilded pieces because I have a lot more than what it's showing right here in my tab. Uh, I haven't got the full helm and the plate skirt yet. Also I haven't got the backstep cape yet which is well kind of odd because well it's not that rare. Uh, explosive barrel uh, is one of the most rare hard crucible rewards there is so it's not that weird that I haven't got the explosive barrel. Uh, other than that we have nothing more to say about the hard skulls other than we got one item the elite skull. so well still the same of course also with the backstep cape the elusive dice and all of the third age which is absolutely amazing to get of course because of the value of those third age items as well and uh, of course the third age and blood die you all know the story on that we will see in the next episode if you get lucky again but uh, thank you all for watching it has been a great episode hope you all enjoyed leave it a like if you did and i'll see you all in the next one goodbye